guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am genuinely so excited because I am bringing you a highly requested video and I genuinely love bringing you videos that you guys want to see. You've been requesting this for a long time. I hear you loud and clear. Here's the video. I hope that you enjoy it. Today I'm going to be showing you how I take my stretched out, kind of just like fluffy, dry, really lacking of volume and definition third day hair. I'm going to then go work out on this hair and then I'm going to show you how I revive it without showering, without rewetting my entire head of hair fully, without starting fresh. So that you can see how to get ready in 30 minutes or less and refresh your hair. Because tonight I'm going to a Galentine's night with my gals. Today's the day after Valentine's Day and um... I mean, when I'm filming this, obviously. <laughs> um, and I'm going to my best friend Najah's Galentine's party. I wanna look cute, and I don't wanna show up with my hair looking like this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. First and foremost, I wanna give a massive, massive thank you to Aussie for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, I have worked with, I think, only one other brand so far on YouTube this year because I've just been, picky and selective in the YouTube sponsorships that I want to do um, and it just feels really really good to work with a brand that I genuinely love and respect and products that have been in my shower for a very 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 long time since I was like probably 10 years old um, so it's just exciting it's an honor truly and like a dream come true literally <laughs> not to get sappy and cheesy but like it's amazing. So thank you guys for your support. Thank you Aussie for sponsoring today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you the techniques and two Aussie products that I use to get my hair back in action. Uh, first and foremost, let's go work out. I personally think that the most important part of working out with wave your curly hair is the technique that you use to put your hair up. I personally choose to pine up on my hair. I think that that, um, allows me to maintain and retain as much definition as possible, whatever is left over on third day hair, and not stretch my roots out too terribly, um, and also not get as much like sweat and nastiness in my hair. So let's pineapple first. Now all you need to pineapple is a scrunchie, so I'm just gonna flip my head over. I'm gonna gather all of my hair on top of my head, in a ponytail and it's just very very loose this does not need to be tight at all and I wrap it around twice and that's it I'm ready to work out so let's hit the gym and then we will refresh our hair when we come back and yes I know that this looks a little bit silly and childish with my hair and a pineapple like this but honestly like I really don't care what I look like when I'm working out <laughs> I'm not trying to impress anyone I care what I look like when I'm headed to hang out with my friends so it might feel silly you might feel stupid at first but like I'm telling you it's worth it and yeah let the haters hate all right guys this video took a little turn <laughs> just finished working out I ended up working out at home because I didn't have time to go to the gym come back refresh my hair fix my makeup get out get ready drive to this Galentine thing in time so I just worked out at home I did a little tape um and then I went outside <laughs> to take my dog out because I'm actually watching my parents dog and it is raining and I got rained on so I was just like oh my gosh shoot like should I just do this video another day and then I was like you know what we're gonna put this to the ultimate test we're gonna see if we can do a refresh on third day stretched out hair that's been worked out in and rained on so really I mean this is just like the ultimate test you know what I'm saying um so yeah just threw my jacket in the dryer and we're we're just gonna keep rolling we're just gonna keep rolling people so first and foremost of course we're gonna take our pineapple out and see what we're left with which is really stretched out <laughs> rained on uh, fuzzy hair so first things first we're gonna add a bit of dry shampoo I think that dry shampoo is essential to any refresh to get that volume back in your hair as you can see my hair just looks flat and like 
I don't know, just like not cute. So I'm gonna jump in with Aussie's Dry Shampoo. Now this is a sulfate-free shampoo, so it's not gonna be harsh or drying on your hair in any way, shape, or form, but it is still gonna get rid of that excess oil and create volume. Um, now I have the texture and volume one. They also have a color protect one, but I think that the, I mean, they're both good, but I kinda like the texture one better. I don't really know why, but. It works for me. So um, the biggest key with dry shampoo, in my personal opinion, is not doing it like really, really, really close to the root. You wanna do it like kind of far away. Um, and then like let it sit and soak in the hair for like at least 30 seconds to a minute before you start like rubbing it and shaking it out to get that big volume. So I'm just gonna flip my head to the side and pull out my roots and then spray right here. Go this way, flip out my roots, spray here, and then flip my head over and kind of spray the back of my hair so that it's not flat in the back. <laughs> now you're just gonna wanna start kind of fluffing it out. So just take your hand, stick it under the roots, and just fluff it on out, and this is gonna create volume for days. <laughs> All right, so this is what we are working with now. I hope that you can tell. It actually definitely looks like I mean, at least two times more voluminous and thick and full, and like, it actually really, it really did a good job. Um, I'm surprised because my hair was a little bit wet, so I was a little bit nervous, but hey, it works on, it works on all hair. Now it is time to work on our definition and shine. So let's jump on that. So now my hair is nice and voluminous, but it's time to get the shine back, the frizz gone, and our definition back. So um, there's a couple different ways you can go about this. I personally like to re-wet my hair, not completely. Um, I just get it to like the three-fourths dry stage, um, so it's still damp, and it allows my hair to kind of like reform its natural hair texture. Now anyone that knows me knows that I am the definition of a penny pincher. I don't know if that's something to be proud of, but I am. Um, so I've seen people use like the spray bottles you can get off Amazon. I know Penny uses that. I'll link it in the description box down below. I'm sure it would be helpful. Um, they're like 10 bucks. It's definitely worth the investment, but I'm cheap. So today I'm gonna be just using my fingers and water, I like to use warm water and get my hair damp so that we can kind of refresh it. Anytime that you add warm water um, to your hair, it like reactivates the styler that you have in there. So whether you applied your styler yesterday or two days ago or three days ago, it just kind of like reactivates it and allows your hair to go back to its natural state, if that makes any sense. So let's begin. <laughs> Okay, so now my hair is like, I don't know if you can tell how wet it is. It's like damp, <laughs> I want to say. I feel like it would take like 30 minutes further for me for this to air dry and be fully dry or like 10 or 15 minutes with the diffuser. So that's about how wet it is. Now at this point, I would typically add a styler. So whatever styler you used a couple days before, you can add a little bit more, kind of like finger coil your curls, reactivate them, get them back in shape. Um, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the definition. I feel like if I were to add more styler, my hair would look kind of like um, sticky or like producty. so I'm actually not going to. But I am gonna go in with a little bit of Aussie's Total Miracle Restoring Oil in Apricot and Australian Macadamia Oil. Um, I'm just gonna use a tiny, tiny bit on my ends. You do not need a lot. Um, this is definitely not a heavy oil in any way, shape, or form, but it does, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need to use a lot, especially if you have wavier hair like mine. I'm just gonna focus this on the ends that are a little bit drier. Now it is time to scrunch. So I'm gonna use a micro fiber towel and I'm going to scrunch my hair back into its regular definition. Now what I like to do while my hair is air drying is flip it back and forth from side to side. So I'll just flip it, fix my makeup, go get dressed, whatever, live my life, feed, <laughs> feed Poochie. Um, and then about 10-15 minutes later flip my hair back and at the very end I will flip my hair over all the way for just like a little bit and then flip it back. Now something that I like to do is what I like to call pin curls. This is if you have a couple pieces of hair that just aren't doing its thing. I feel like um, I part my hair on this side and 
I don't know, sometimes some of these pieces just, they play games with me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit right here um, and I'm just going to wrap it around my finger and just finger coil it to my head, just like so. And then I'm just gonna let that dry as I'm getting ready. And I'm actually gonna do one more on the opposite side to kind of like balance it out. Um, I feel like we're gonna need one like right here. This piece looks kind of like janky. <laughs> um, okay. All right, so I'm gonna add this one right here. Hopefully you can see that the definition is already starting to come back to my hair. Um, I'm gonna go put together a really cute little party platter. Um, I'm gonna do like some chocolate sauce and strawberries and like cookies and pretzels to dip it in. I'm gonna get real fancy and bring, um, I was thinking about bringing stuff to make mocktails cause I don't really like to drink too much. It's not really my thing. So I thought that making mocktails could be like fun and cute. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go work on that and then I will be back momentarily to show you the drying process. See you soon. All right guys, so my hair has been drying for like, I don't know, like 30 minutes while I did my makeup and I've just been flipping it back and forth as I did my makeup, getting that volume, getting it to dry quickly and my pin curls are working their magic. Um, but there is one, where to go, this piece. Ugh, I don't know what's happening. It just looks like really fuzzy and I'm not here for it. So I'm just gonna re-wet really quickly this one piece. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of our Aussie Miracle Moist Intense Hydration Oil. You don't need a lot. This product goes such a long way. Like I feel like it'll last you forever. And this is in the Avocado and Australian Jojoba Oil. It smells out of this world amazing. I'm just gonna coat the hair so that it looks really, really nice and shiny once it's dry. After we add that oil, I am just gonna pin curl it to my scalp and it will just look really, really cute. I actually taught this trick to my mom uh, when she first started doing her hair and she does it every single time after she works out on like the pieces in the front that just are like the front pieces that she wants to look really good and I'm telling you her hair looks perfect literally no matter what day she's on. It's kind of freaky. Speaking of my mother, I've been wanting to do, uh, she like, she's not ready I don't think, but please encourage her if you want her to. I've been wanting her to show you guys her hair routine because even though her hair is super similar to mine, she actually uses different products than I use which is really interesting. Um, so yeah, I'd love for her to show you guys her routine. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see that. I feel like it'd be really, really interesting. Um, so yeah. Okay, all right, I'm going to let my hair dry for like five, 10 more minutes while I like get my shoes, pack up my stuff for the Galentine's party, and then I will come back and zhuzh up my hair. All right, I am back. My hair is, I think, fully dry. So we're gonna go ahead and take our pin curls out. I will show you how those performed. This one looks like it just <laughs> did so well. What the heck? Oh, I mean, perfection. Do you see that, people? Do you see it? I love it. And then I'm gonna add another baby right here. Let's see how this one turned out. Perfect perfection. It just looks like so hydrated from adding that oil like the shine is unreal Like if you look at the hair right here compared to the hair here, there's like no frizz on these curls. They're perfect So we're about to add our smoothing oil um, On the other pieces, but then I have another one back here. I'm gonna take out this bad boy Perfection and now it's not frizzy. Thank Lord. Hallelujah. So what I'm gonna do now is flip my head over and va va voom zhuzh it up. That's kind of like my trick to volume. I'm always getting asked from you guys how I create volume in my hair and the trick is the va va voom zhuzh. <laughs> I never know how to explain that to you guys when you ask me on like Instagram comments or Instagram DMs. I'm like you just judge it like I don't even know how to spell judge So hopefully this will be helpful. I'm gonna show you 
the zhuzhing of the hair. Here we go. So what you simply want to do is flip your head over, take your fingers and put them right in your scalp and just shake. So we're going to do it on the sides, on the front, we're going to get it all over. Here we go. So flipping my head forward, I hope you can see this. So I'm going to take one of my hands, put it underneath and just shake, 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 shake it out. And this really is my trick to volume. I mean, having late products is really, really important. Having shampoos, conditioners, stylers that aren't heavy using a dry shampoo. Like Aussie's dry shampoo is awesome. Um, but the zhuzh is really, it's really key, people. It's really key. So now we're gonna flip to the other side and as you can see, it's already getting bigger and we're gonna shake on this side. Focusing on the roots primarily. And then we're gonna flip completely forward and focus on the front section. Okay, now we are going to flip back and we're gonna add some oil so that the Tops, the tops of my hair still looks a little bit frizzy to me. So once again, I'm gonna use the Aussie Moist Intense Hydration Oil. This is the avocado one, and you do not need a lot. This product is very, very light. So, I mean, feel free to use a decent amount, which is great, because you can still achieve that nice volume that I feel like you guys are always asking me um, all about, but you don't need to use a lot. It does go a long way, even though it is a nice lightweight oil. And I just kind of like to smooth this over the pieces that look frizzy and just kind of add that shine and like definition back in there. Alright guys, so these are the results of my day three hair that has been worked out on twice now. Um, and it just looks like refreshed and shiny and voluminous and I'm obsessed with it. I'm really really happy with how it turned out and I feel like I've been meaning to make this video for you guys for a very long time to show you how I fix third day hair to stretch it into fourth day. I feel like that's like a question I get a lot. Just how to refresh your hair and I mean I don't know I feel like it looks so good, like I'm so happy with it. It looks soft in person, it looks shiny, it looks happy, it looks healthy, and I'm just really excited about it. So big, big thank you to Aussie for sponsoring today's video. It is genuinely a dream come true to partner with them. I have used their products. Their products have been in my shower with me since I was like 10 years old. Um, how many of you use the three minute miracle Aussie moist mask, I mean. That was like what I used as my conditioner. I didn't even use it as a mask, I used it as a conditioner. <laughs> Look at how happy and healthy and shiny it looks, I love it. I mean, third day after working out, you guys. I hope that you guys find this helpful. Please let me know like um, if you try this out, how it works for you, and yeah, sorry, I cannot stop playing with it. Okay, I love you guys. Uh, I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I got a lot, a lot of requests for this video, and I genuinely hope that it was helpful for you. So yeah, okay, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.